All right, moving on. Uh, talking about money this morning, we're talking about local entrepreneurs and others getting some much needed support. The governor recently announced a $150 million investment into a new low interest loan program for small businesses and nonprofits. It's called the Connecticut Small Business Boost Fund. And joining me now to talk about how the program works and who will benefit, I'm happy to have Dave Lehman, the Commissioner of the uh, Department of uh, Economic and Community Development. Mr. Lehman, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. How are you? Oh dear, we can't hear you. I heard you a second ago. Hold on, let's see if we can just take a couple seconds. Did you happen to mute your microphone at all? No, I should oh, be on. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, good, okay. good, good. All right, All right great so to be here, Tim. Thank you. And glad to have you here. Uh, I mentioned uh, entrepreneurs. I mentioned nonprofits. But can you uh, talk a little bit more specifically about whom this program is uh, trying to help? Yeah, so the, the $150 million Connecticut Small Business Boost Fund is focused on small businesses and nonprofits. So what that means is 100 employees or less in the state and $8 million in sales or less in the state. So really targeting on small businesses. Uh, these are going to be very low interest loans, 4.5% rate for five to six years term. Uh, and the loan size ranges from 5000 to up to 500000 uh, what's important to us for this program, this is actually a public-private partnership, so the state is contributing half of the funding, but the private sector is contributing the other half of the funding. Uh, there is one website where folks can go that are interested in apply. It's ConnecticutSmallBusinessBoostFund.org, uh, and businesses or nonprofits can be matched up with one of six possible lenders on that site, and loans should be funded in two to four weeks. And we've had a really, really positive early response, over a thousand uh, different businesses and nonprofits looking for loans and applying on the site in the first week alone. Connecticut Small Business Boost Fund .org. We'll make sure we get that up on uh, fox61.com as well. Uh, talk to me about the genesis of the program. Did this all just become uh, come about because of the pandemic? Yeah, I think there are really two things. Uh, you know, one, we wanted in the Lamont administration, we really wanted to work with the private sector. Previously, the state was making direct small business loans through an, what was called the express program. Here, we wanted to work with banks as opposed to compete with banks. So we had some conversations uh, starting before the pandemic, but, but culminating during the pandemic to do that. And then second, when, when we looked at um, areas of the state, our distressed municipalities, uh, lots of our cities where you have lower income, higher unemployment, it didn't seem like uh, they were getting the cash Capital and businesses were getting the capital. So as part of this program, 50% or more of the funds will go to women and minority-owned businesses, as well as our distressed municipalities. So we're really trying to complement the private sector and provide another option, another tool in the toolbox here as state small businesses continue to grow really, really rapidly. That's great. You mentioned uh, everything happens quickly. Two to four weeks is the turnaround time. So let's make sure people can apply correctly when they do. Why don't you take us through the process? Uh, what are somebody, uh, some of the things that somebody who's, uh, who wants to apply needs to have at the ready to make sure things go smoothly? Yeah, so it, it, it's going to depend on how the business is set up, how many owners, for example. So uh, customary in information as it relates to the individual owner or the financial information as of the business, um, historical information as it relates to the financials of the business, if applicable. There, there will be some funding, Tim, here, importantly, for new businesses as well. So the, the information that's going to be needed is similar to that of a bank, but it's all online. And again, the matchup happens very, very quickly. So I'd encourage folks to go to the website that you guys will post, CT Small Business Boost fund.org uh, and start to apply. It, it should be a very streamlined process on the website. And again, the feedback we've gotten so far has been very, very good. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. You said a, a lot of people have already applied. Uh, any last things that uh, people are telling you about the process or how much it's helped? Yeah, I think one of the one of the key things for us is having a central location. And part of this program also will be technical assistance, not just loans for these businesses. But we, we really heard loud and clear, access to capital is important and make it simple for us. Let's not be faxing or paper documents if we can avoid it. Let's make this as automated as possible, a great customer experience. And that's really what we endeavored to do. Uh, and just, just so you're aware and your viewers are aware, we're seeing record small business growth in the state of Connecticut. 1,100 businesses per month are forming. That's up 40% versus pre-pandemic levels. And the state hasn't seen this type of business formation since 2005. So those are the types of businesses that are starting to apply for these funds. And we want to make sure they have access to low-cost competitive capital. And after so many businesses had to go under, it's not surprising, but it's definitely kind of one of those signs you want to see that uh, we're starting to bounce back from the pandemic. So hopefully this will help a lot of them. Mr. Lehman, thank you for taking the time to join us to get that information out to uh, a lot of uh, businesses and nonprofits. We do appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me, Tim. Yeah, glad to have you on.